stuck. No, it's just my phone. I'm trying to move my phone. I've actually just realised I've not even spoke to the camera yet even though we've been walking for two and a half hours so we left Craig near Jerry's Hostel at half twelve and we're on our way up the first Corbett of the day we've got two in our sights and then tomorrow we've got two Munros to do as well deep in back country so it should be good Right, so our first summit of the day is just up here and the view's over to Sky, a bit hazy but just over here. Tempting to camp here but we've got another Corbett still to do. That I think will be Lurgmoor, Lurgvor, that one there. Lurgvor. Two potential Munros we could do but probably leave them for another time. Let's push on. Made the error of wearing tights today and they're just clingy and sweaty. Sorry if that's TMI. <laughs> I will be wearing them again. Loved them on the Cape Raft Trail, didn't get me wrong. Just no happening today. This is stunning. I tell you what, if we weren't on a bagging mission, we'd be camping here. This is a cracking location. Sheltered, body of water. We've got two Munros framed there. Wow, the views are stunning. I don't know what to show you first. Yeah, so we've got whole oh, Torridon stretched out in front of us. Greg is just coming up the hill there. And if we have a look behind me, we can see the rest of the route now. So this here is Ben Tarson, and we hope to camp somewhere on the summit here. It's four o'clock at the moment, so we have got plenty of time left. And at the back, You've got Lurgmore to your left and Cheesecake to your right. Those two are Sunday's objective. But yeah, this is not bad at all. Kev, what's the time? That time is... Wrap. O'clock. I'll be better that later. There you go Kev, on you go mate. That's us back on the move and um, according to Walk Highlands there's an old stalker's path that kind of dog legs away from Bielak Fernays and I'll take the, the sting out the steepness because it is quite tempting just to head straight down the nose It'd be more direct, but it looks pretty steep. Okay, that's us reached Bialik Vernays, and I'm just now looking at a route up the next Corbett. I tell you what, though, it's got a super remote feeling in here. We're not picking up the football results, that's for sure. Well, we've been going just over six hours now and we're just underneath the nose of this Corbett 
So uh, we'll be pitched just after 7 o'clock Happy days Get the dinner on and chill out for the rest of the night And we should get a really good uh, sun set as well 10 to 7, yes Get in Whew. That's us arrived at the summit of Ben Tarson And nowhere to pitch free tents up here so what we're going to do is wait on Kev and then head down here Looks like there is pitching a plenty down by that lock-in And look at the views we'll have Right, got the spirit level out That is as flat as a pancake, I'm taking it bowling green Righty oh, that's us all pitched. Greg's got his MSR free light. Kev's moved, he's in the middle of the two of us now. He's got his Lanshan 1. And I've brought the notch. First time I've had it out for a while. But I don't see the point in carrying the big scarf in good conditions like this. It's a little bit breezy here, but uh, it's nice. I am just waiting for my food to boil up. Just having a little starter just now A cheap cup shot, it's out of Aldi 267 calories per cushion So that'll help bulk up my freeze dry meal That we'll have afterwards It's the back 8 o'clock now so Aye, there's a wee guy on the ridge When I say wee, he's wee because he's miles away <laughs> But aye, there's a figure on the ridge I don't know if he's looking for somebody to camp as well Because it's quite a late time to start heading back in the middle of nowhere Right, we've just popped back up to the summit to check out the sunset and it's rather stunning Righty oh folks, it's uh, 10 to 11 Don't know where the time went, but it's time for bed, I know that much So Kev's going to get his meditation music on And we're just going to chill out You want some bells and chimes and sounds and booms Exactly, so <laughs> catch you guys in the morning, cheers <laughs> Good morning campers It is half five and Kevin's been up a while and he's informed me It's claggy McClag face outside so Nothing to show you just yet Hopefully that'll burn off though Anyways that was a really good sleep The winds dropped so I was out like a light And I'm going to get up in a minute and get breakfast sorted Right, we're all just packing up, but Kevin has lost his sunglasses and he's panicking they will get big headaches and all that sort of stuff So he's... You nipping back up the summit? I think he's left them when we were up taking in the sunset last night Kevin has just nipped up to the summit to get his sunglasses I've heard a couple of yeah, so... I think he must have them See if Kevin comes down off that summit and says he's above the cloud and got a, 
A cloud inversion, I'll be raging. You won't believe him anyway. No, I wouldn't believe him, but then he'll show us the photos. Did you find them? Up at the summit? Up at the summit, yeah. Somebody must have put them on the summit. Something. Nice one. Jammy bugger, he's got the video evidence. <laughs> no bad. There's no shot going on. Right, yo, leave no trace as always. Let's roll. Right, that only took us half an hour and we've reached the Bialik in this dry stone dike here. Strange place to have a dry stone dike in the middle of nowhere. But anyways, we're going to find this quarry and handrail the little stream up to near the top. Let's go. Right, in just over two hours, we are on the summit of Bidian Akori Shazgag, better known as Cheesecake because it sounds like Shazgag Cheesecake. Ah, you get it. Anyways, it's super boss today. That inversion slowly burning off. It's going to be another roaster toaster. Right, so the plan next is to just slowly saunter down this ridge and then make a beeline down to the Bialik and then the last of the day, maybe. Lurgvor, just beyond Greg there. What we've done is uh, pitched the tents just to let them air out and dry in the sun. Dumped the packs next to the tents and now we're going to go up Lurgvor. Yeah, so you've got one of the most remote chunks of the Cape Raft Trail right in front of us there. Hopefully the camera can just pick it out, but you've got Mialvui Boffy there, which you drop down to from the Falls of Glomac, uh, Iron Lodge, and then right down that glen there. It's an epic part of the trail, I love that bit. Alrighty, that's us back at the tents. It's uh, just gone 12 o'clock, so that is five hours since leaving the campsite. Spent way too long up at the top there, just loafing around, sunbathing, but no major rush. Dave, <laughs> you're on rap, Jay. What's the time then? Rap o'clock. No, it's not. Aye, it is. <laughs> 12 noon. I tell you what, folks, when I get home, I am binning those tights. I don't know what I was thinking, just way too hot. My poor chuckies were in meltdown. So I've swapped them out for the shorts. <laughs> just, uh, I don't know what possessed me to wear them, but hey ho. 
So anyways, that's us heading off from the Bialik. It was a steep grassy slope to begin with. It's eased off just now. And uh, we'll see what the next bit's like. It looks like there's another sharp drop. So there's our cave. We're just doing a wee zigzag down here. And we find a wee rake that should get us on a safer ground. That looks alright though. What we're doing now is just cutting an angle across to save us going all the way down to then pick up the track and go all the way back up again. And uh, it's looking alright so far. I've got Loch Mona to my right there, which surprisingly is a man made lock. I never knew that. For some reason, I thought it was natural. And the reason I know is if you look at an OS map and if there's depth contours, it's natural. And if there's no depth contours, it's a man-made water, body of water. So there's an interesting little fact for you. That's just my message being delivered to Nicola. To say I'm alright, because it's pretty remote in here, so... Just in case something happens. Oh, wow, well, that looks terrible. <laughs> so yeah, we are heading right up here. That's where we were yesterday. Bialik Bernays. Mate, this is brutal. Yes, why hit the SOS button on the Garmin? <laughs> we'll just say Kev's go heat exhaustion. Kev's Aye, Kev's goosed. <laughs> Joking, by the way. Oh man. I'll show you where we've got to go. We're heading up here, that's where we were yesterday. We need to go back there. And it's about another 300 metres and about a kilometre just over to go. And it's absolutely baking down here. Thankfully there is a wee breeze though. Imagine when the helicopter came down. What's wrong with you boys? Just can't be bothered, eh? What in the morning? Aye. <laughs> hey, Paul. See what I was right in my mouth. Well, we're getting there. Slowly. Slowly but surely. Hallelujah. We are at the top of the pass, back up at Bialak Bernays, and now I am staring at the walkout. <laughs> it looks a long way. At least it's all downhill, that's the main thing. Whew. That was tough. Just the heat, man, just the heat. So yeah, I don't know if you can make it out. The path is just running down here, Whew. all the way down. Woofed. I was not expecting this. This looks pretty new. We're making good progress, folks. It's 20 past five. So that's just been going just over 10 hours. We've got a bit to go. It's just going to turn out to be a, a 12 hour epic. Alright folks, I am absolutely paggered. That's us back on the track that we started on yesterday. So it seems like a good time to wrap this up, like a macro wrap. What I'll do is I'll put the stats on the screen now, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!